Hey guys, so I'm going to walk you through the VSX 5.0 Echo Calibration. The calibration should launch when you first load VSX 5.0, but you can also click the Echo Cal button on the front of the GUI. Okay, so let's use Echo to customize VSX 5.0 to our unique ears. So first, we'll need to select the first two numbers of our headphone serial number, which you can find on the inner right band of the headphone, and that calibrates your headphone's production run. Next, it'll tell you to play some demo music, and the purpose here is to set your headphone amp volume at a comfortable level. So I'll do that now. One quick note. For some DAWs, you may have to hit the play and stop in the transport in order to hear audio from the echo calibration. Okay, so off camera, I set my headphone amp volume. It's not too loud, it's not too soft, it's comfortable. Okay, now it's time to echo. When I hit the start cow button down here, it's gonna play a reference tone. And all I have to do is click this fader, which plays a second tone, and then match that volume to the first tone. Okay, so for this first test, I didn't really have to move my match tone fader much, but that's for my ears, and remember, it may be different for your ears. Now, here's an important tip. Let the tone play out for about a second so that it resonates in your ear canal. Try not to switch back and forth too fast. Okay, next, we have to do the same thing. We're going to match this tone's fader to the first tone. Okay, that sounds even for me, but remember, everyone is going to set these faders differently. And next, we'll continue to do the same thing. Okay, so we've completed all the match faders, and now we're presented with the roll section. This incorporates all the past tone level adjustments we made, but now we can hear them all together and fine tune everything by plus minus 2 dB. It's important to note that every one of these tones should sound like they are the same volume in your ears, almost like they're being played evenly from the same instrument. Okay, so I noticed there's a few tweaks I want to make to even things out even more. Again, you're likely hearing something very different from me, but I'm going to make some adjustments. All right, we're almost done, but we have one more very important step. We've created our echo ear curve, but now we have to dial in the amount. You can select one or all of these little music demos and then use the amount slider to dial things in until everything sounds smooth and even in the upper mid-range. Pay careful attention to mix elements like vocals. They should sound natural, not harsh, and not dull. So I've dialed my echo amount to 75%. You may be different. You may need 20%. You may need 150%. It's up to your ears. Now I'm going to save my echo profile. And then VSX5 loads, and you'll see my profile is preloaded. And what I recommend you doing is loading a speaker, and I'll choose YME Farfield. And then I'm going to listen to some of my own reference mixes. And right on the front GUI, I can continue to customize my echo amount but only if you find it necessary. And the last thing I want to show you is the Echo EQ, which I'll click here. So these are my Echo settings, but remember, yours will look different because the size of our inner ears are different. You'll notice on the Echo EQ that we have some other tone shaping bands. You can leave those alone to hear the most accurate modeling, but if you prefer a bit more top or bottom, which is fine, it's just taste, you have that control globally here. And that's it. Once you have Echo dialed in, you'll have an incredibly customized experience with VSX5. Thanks for watching.